Well, yeah, welcome to the stream. We're gonna keep playing Warrior Land 2. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video, as always. Alright. I was confused for a th sec, but I used the console's sleep mode feature, which I guess... I guess it worked. Now, this did say I was up to the last area, but I don't know. I'll probably do more. Ah, uh, it's one of these. I'm brute forcing this. <laughs> hey, Sandy, what's up? You're up late. I mean, I'll save myself some time. There has to be a door here somewhere. There's no way this is just a dead end. Warrior Land 3? No, it's Warrior Land 2. <laughs> Didn't seem to be a door here. Wow. Oh. That's not door either. Hmm. Weird. This is gonna be fun. <sighs> yeah, I've never played Warrior Land 3, so I don't know how it looks like, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was similar. Oh, this is not fair. So, here's my my random Wario factoid. Did you know that Wario has a bladder that's capable of holding five liters of pee, which I think is about a gallon? Canonically, like this isn't something made up, like this is official lore here. Going crazy? Yeah, I know I was too when I found that out. Apparently, it doesn't have good vision either. Like 2040 vision. And then he has very tiny feet. Forgot what shoe size, I think it was size 8. But, yeah, five liters of pee. High capacity bladder. Ah! Ugh, why do these ghosts have to go so quickly? <laughs> I 
Why am I so bad? I should have gone through the door. I just thought there was something else to this. Is this a fan game? No, this is uh, on the Game Boy, so it's official. It's his second adventure game. When they figured out the formula to Warrior Land. I played this as a kid. What? <laughs> yeah. I'll say it again. Oh, yes! Five liter bladder! There you go. That's the oh, yes, Rodin. And I added the bladder remark. A high capacity. I'll, I'll read you exactly what it's- I'll read you exactly what it says. Hold on. Okay, it says... When I veg out in front of the TV, I don't like having to get up all the time to go to the bathroom. That's why my bladder rules. You know you're jealous. And that is official lore. It can hold five liters. Doesn't have any cavities in his teeth. Over 80 PSI grip. So his hands are able to grip with 80 PSI. This is official. And a brain with relatively few wrinkles. Whatever that means. His abs have ten rolls. So, the description for his abs are... The stomach is split into squares by a network of muscles that runs through it. Huh? Who said it splits into squares of pure fat? Anyway. It's official. It's just like how Yoshi has a surname, technically. And the middle name, but I don't think they revealed what the middle name is, just the initial. Thought Yoshi was a species. Well, I mean... The lore is very, very loose, but like... I believe Yoshi's surname is Munchakoopers. Yoshisaurus T. Munchakoopers or something like that is Yoshi's full name. This is when they release video games and part of the localization was to make up just weird law for America. Still don't know how to squeeze into that gap. Okay, this is all lit up now. I was close. Oh, this is just that. Okay. Crap. There was nothing in this corner. Alright, whatever. Yeah, 
But yeah, all that stuff, uh... It's from the Warrior World manual. Which I had a look at today. I was like, what? I mean, game manuals were more than just instructions. They sometimes had weird little breakdowns of skills or, like, lore. <laughs> oh, no, this is just something to slow me down. What? <laughs> okay. Apparently I got bit from beneath, that's fine. Oh, cool. Alright. Pay attention in case I mess this up. That one? I think? Yeah. But now that bottom area is lit up. Okay. Crap. These ghosts are going too quickly. I don't think they're even on a normal cycle, like, they're just... Ah! Oh, what? Okay. Well, don't I feel like an idiot. Making it harder. Okay, so now I can see. There's nothing here. About here, there's a door here. I think I have to go through this whole thing without becoming zomb <laughs> zombified. Oh, this is not fair. <laughs> like, it's such a small window. Man, games in the 90s just really did not care. How, how on earth am I supposed to get through that that quickly? There's no hidden wall or anything. I tried ducking. Oh, oh, oh okay. Dude. Okay. It's like 
very specific spots. Oh, no. Ah, oh, what have I done? Oh. Okay. Yes! That worked. I need that bottom left piece so I can know if it's a five or a six. There we go. I've definitely missed secrets. Like, I don't think I'm going to do this in the first pass. So, it's fine. Oh, the owl is here this time. Can I just jump straight up? Yeah, that's better. I'm guessing the rest of the stage is all this. This was unnecessary. I think this is the one power-up where Warrior doesn't get injured. The majority of them just involve some sort of accident. over here. I'm gonna take a look at real quick. Yeah, what is that door? Ah. Oh, 
Oh, wow, already? I wasn't sure. I, I was thinking either top left or bottom right. I got it right. I mean, I only found two of the alternate paths. Oh, can I still get through this without the owl? Probably. I'm just gonna get it. <laughs> it's a waste of time otherwise. Wait a minute, something just occurred to me. Yeah, why, why don't I just do that? can't control it, it's just, it sends you flying. I thought I was safe, but then it was, there was a gap at the end. All that effort. worth it. No, there's still a lot in this room. That is the door. Oh, 
but I almost feel like I should explore the rest of this. Maybe I can't. I can't go through that block. See what this does. Oh, but then it just blocks me off there. This is bad, isn't it? I'm gonna regret not going for that door. It's okay, I'll get it back. Doesn't look like there's a scenario where I can take the boat all the way back up. Which is a bit of a shame. I needed to take the bird all the way out to get all that other stuff. It's probably a f It's a four now. Yeah, it's a four now. It ruled out the nine and the eight with that tile, so... Okay, hang on. Before I start this level, just give me a sec. All good. Why is only door five open? What? Point of the, what's the point of the stage? No. There has to be more to this. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, no, see, it. it's not. This is this is the end, but not the end end. The stuff to do before I can even do that. That's the bottle dudes are back. Well, that was lucky. As long as that it's dead. <laughs> I wanna lose coins. I need it for the minigame. What? So annoying. Get the coin. Nice. All right. Well, I got my hundred coins. But this just leads back. So confused what you need to do here. Unless there's, there's a hidden door. That just closes it up. There's got to be something else to this. Trying to grab them. They don't allow it to be grabbed. at this. Oh, 
I don't want to lose my coins. I don't get what it's trying to make me do here. Can't go any further in there. The only thing I can think of is like maybe I've missed the door here. There's nothing in here. If I keep doing this, I'm gonna lose all my coins. Oh. Okay, there we go. I just have to look carefully. Right, but okay. Same issue. I have to hit one of them and throw it through the... Oh. Okay. I don't think I have anything I can throw. Damn it. Oh, that's rude.
Oh no, I brought pain upon myself. Okay, so now from two, going back into four. I don't think this is worth it. I'm not gaining coins. Which means now we can go to one. Come on. That's what I was hoping for. This makes that worth it. Oh, yes! Just 200 coins. That makes up for everything. works on its own. Okay. Kinda long-winded, but there you go. Go into door 4, exit door 4, go into door 5, and go win. the three. Yeah. Okay, I haven't missed one yet. I wish there was a stage select with this to make this process easier later. So then you can go back and pick the stage that does the alternating path.
There's more up here. But I mean, I guess this is what I want. Okay, I did flick the switch. I got the feeling I should have left. It's fine. Oh, no, it's okay. I can get up here. the minigame, right? Did I play the GBA Warrior game, WarriorWare game? Yes, that was the first one in the series I played. I didn't own it, but a friend of mine did, and I got to borrow it once. It's a lot of fun. And I do have a copy of it somewhere, because I did end up getting it later. I think it's in the tin with all the Game Boy games. Very good time killer. Probably should have gone through that door. It's okay. Oh no. Oh no, wait, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why would it do that? Yeah, I thought so. Listening and lurking. Alright, Sandy, good night. Played that with a kid on the bus for many hours, had a lot of time to kill with an hour and a half bus ride. Yeah, I bet. No, oh, that game was a lot of fun.
I will revisit it along with the DS version. Just not enough time. <laughs> so much stuff I want to do, but I have to be selective. one. Okay. Did I play the GameCube one? Uh, were there a couple of GameCube ones? Or am I not remembering it correctly? I, I do have it. In terms of when they came out, the ones that I played was, um, the original one, Touched, and, uh, Smooth Moves, and then the Switch one. Smooth Moves was great, like, my younger brothers and all my cousins loved coming over to play that game. I mean, my brothers live with us, but I meant like the cousins. Whenever there was a family get together, they just loved playing that and uh, the rabbits like party game, which I mean, say what you will about the rabbits, but their their multiplayer games were decent. Don't remember the GameCube one well. The GameCube one sort of repackaged the Game Boy Advance ones. But it had a few unique ones from memory. And it had the four player mode, which was pretty fun. One that I wish I could stream, but I don't think there's any way to feasibly do it is Twist. I've heard Twist is fun. But, yeah, I'm not sure how you would do it. Like, you would need... You would need a Game Boy Advance with, like, a HDMI in mod. And then play it directly off that. I don't think there's any way to do it otherwise. I think at this point it can only be a four. Yeah. But in terms of retro titles that I'm definitely visiting, we've got the Zelda games that I'm going to be starting immediately after I'm done with this. So I'm going to jump to uh, Oracle of Ages. So then... I can hopefully get through the rest of them before uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out. It should be okay. And then at some point I will do Paper Mario. Like, I know I want to revisit the Wii one at the very least. I would love to play Thousand Year Door, but finding a copy of that thing is like... It's an endeavor. GameCube is exactly the same as a GBA game. Yeah, I kind of figured. I remember it being like a repackage, but it had the multiplayer aspect. It was like just a way to play it. On a console. But I mean, it was fun. The four player mode was fun. I played most of the distinct ones, like, the one that I didn't get to play was Twisted. Touched was great. And Smooth Moves, I mean... It was amongst the time when the Wii had its charm, so... It was fun.
Holding a GameCube controller was always a good time. Oh yeah. Just such a comfortable controller. The one complaint I have about it is just the D-pad. Which granted you didn't use much, but like... Since I started using the GBA player... I mean, before I got this console, I was using the GBA player to play Game Boy games to stream, but... Um... That D-pad was horrible. That would be the one complaint I have. But otherwise, for everything else, like, the controller was excellent. But I remember the GameCube being, like, just... Something that wasn't really sought after here. I mean, I remember playing one, because I used to have um, a lot of kiosks in shopping malls that would demo the new consoles. So, like, that's how I played the Nintendo 64 for the first time, for example. And that memory, like, I'll, I'll never forget it because it was, for me, I guess, my first time playing a 3D game and going from 2D to 3D was just... I mean, we have graphical- we have graphical leaps, but, like, that to me was just mind-blowing as a kid. Going from something- like, I was playing Game Boy games, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, and then one day going to a shopping mall, and then there's Mario in full-blown 3D. It was... yeah. Like, I- I can't describe, like, how that was. And I don't think I've experienced any sort of leap like that ever since. Um, but they had the GameCube, and I played, uh, Rogue Squadron, and I thought it was cool, but it, I guess it never, in, the console really never interested me, and I think the reason was for the launch of that thing, I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I think the headline game was Luigi's Mansion, which, it's a fantastic game in retrospect, right, but, like, at the time I was like, why... If they would have maybe gone with Mario Sunshine as a release title, I probably would have had more interest in it. And it's one of these things that, like, when you look back on the GameCube, it had a solid library. But at the time, I guess it just was underappreciated. Because, you know, people were more into visual fidelity because the PS2 was, like, pumping out these insane graphics and you had... The versatility of it being a uh, DVD player, I almost said Blu-ray. So that was like almost a de facto standard of what console to get. That was that was the like best move Sony did was putting the DVD player in in the PS2. It's the reason that it had such a massive uh, lifetime, really, because it just kept, the thing just kept selling. It was like, you could get a DVD player, or you could get a PS2, which would give you the DVD features, but then you had the PS2 as well. Like, it was genius. And that's why I guess the GameCube just didn't catch on. It was kind of like... When you had a choice of, like, a console that could play DVDs and music CDs or something that was just for games I think just people decided to choose the PS2 yeah that's right like it was easier to get parents to buy into the PS2 because parents probably wanted a DVD player anyway so it was something beneficial it's like well if we're, if we're getting a DVD player, we may as well get a PS2 and, you know, keep the kids happy. It's, a, it's just another one of those cases where, like, I think... There's no way to confirm this, but given the history, I think Nintendo was just, again, worried about piracy. And so they wanted to develop their own proprietary medium. Or just wanted more control over the, the medium itself, and so went with those tiny discs. Which... Smaller in capacity meant less could be done with games, and also just... 
it wasn't DVD. Like, what could you use that thing for other than games? But I mean, as an adult, I, you know, I have an appreciation of the GameCube, for sure. Just... Yeah. During its, uh, tenure. I virtually had no interest in that console. The PlayStation was overall more mature. Yeah, it had that brand image, I guess, as like it was teenagers to adults. Because when the PS1 came out, it was like, how old was I? But yeah, I was definitely entering teen years, so. I kind of went with that right away. It was like, oh, these graphics and 2D graphics were kind of seen as like just outdated or for kids. And if you wanted to be cool, I guess you had to have 3D graphics in your game, which stupid in hindsight, right? But that's just what it was. It was just a push for like polygons and things making making old games look like nothing. Wait, we have to rescue her? The PlayStation didn't have a handle, therefore useless. Yeah, the GameCube was technically portable. It's like, they thought about people taking a GameCube to other people's houses. I think the feature that was ahead of its time, the GameCube was the first console from that era to have digital video, at least here in Australia, like, I think in America they ended up ditching the port pretty quickly, but GameCube from Europe and uh, Australia, they all have this second video port that was used for digital video, and that's what most of uh, the mods these days take advantage of to, like, allow you to hook up a GameCube to HDMI. They, like, reverse engineered the port, so then you can hook it up to a modern TV and keep the image pristine. Like, yeah, that was something that was ahead of its time. No console really bothered with digital video because no one really had TVs with HDMI. Or digital video capability, not even HDMI. It's definitely one thing that was good about it. The Nintendo 64, you have to, like, modify it in a pretty heavy manner to get it to hook up to a HD TV. And even then, it's not ideal. Oh, what have I done? Did I do this too prematurely? Well, I mean, I can't imagine this is a soft lock. I think it's just a try again. Why? Why is this here, though? And the crazy thing is I have a lot of nostalgia for the PS1 era, but in terms of retro games that I own, because, I mean, I left a lot of them back at home, I don't really have PS1 games at all in my collection. Or PS2 games. Like, we had a PS2, but I didn't really play it because at the time I got a PC. And games were expensive for it. And the thing that sucked about the PS1 here 
wasn't a case in America, was like, the cases. They weren't standard CD cases, they were like these really extra thick cases for some reason. And they broke pretty easily and so you can't really get a replacement for them easily, at least not back then. The American uh, PlayStation game cases were superior because they were just standard CD cases. Wish you could experience the Medal of Honor for PS2 as a child again. There's many games that you wish you could experience for the first time. Call if you could, like, induce some temporary amnesia. Just something where you could be like, forget everything. But still be aware of who you are. For like, say, an hour. Just to be able to experience certain things for the first time again. I mean, there's definitely, like, some negative ramifications to that, like, sinister motives for having such a thing. But, I mean, if we were to keep it idealistic and innocent, it'd be cool. <laughs> you remember the cases being hard to pry open, but you were nine and underfed. I guess that's fair. But, I mean, you had the American cases, if you've ever seen the European ones, they are fucking ridiculous. How thick they are. They're like, in thickness, they're probably twice as thick as a standard CD case. That's why you're happy you rebought Phantom Hourglass. It's been so long since you played it, it's unfamiliar. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you'll have vague recollections. It's kind of like this for me. Like, I had this as a kid, but... It's been so long that, yeah, this is just vague recollections for me. Like, I'll have things where I'll be like, oh, I remember this, but not... really to the point where I know where I'm, what I'm doing. I also had to double back here. That's why I'm loving this thing, because I'm reliving that era of Game Boy, which I have not ex- With the exception of maybe Pokemon Red, I haven't experienced again. Since... I was a kid. But I mean, it'll be the same for me, like, I don't- I don't remember Phantom Hourglass, but I do remember enjoying that game quite a bit. And Spirit Tracks. So when I get up to them, it'll- it'll be fun to go through them again. But you know, the moment you talked about having to close the lid to solve a puzzle. <laughs> I, I somehow remember that happening to me as well, like, not being able to work it out and then the solution is closing the lid. I don't remember what puzzle though, that's the thing, but I have that memory, the frustration feeling. And then being like, oh my god. I just remember. I don't remember the puzzle exactly, but... I do remember the feeling of, uh... Just thinking, wow, I should have gotten that sooner than I did. Hey, Heavy! Clive, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going, dude? How's your evening going? 
Oh, come on. I think I'm just going around in circles at this point. Ah. This is that game? What game? Wario? See, I reached the boss room before, but I don't remember how, and I didn't go back into it because I hadn't found the bonus room. So I had to go find the bonus room, but now I have it. Oh, the game I was telling you about the other night. No, no, no. Well, yes and no. This is what the game Pizza Tower takes influence from. But... This game itself is like an old Game Boy game. I played this as a kid, it was so much fun. So instead of getting power up, Wario kind of experiences things to overcome obstacles. So like, instead of the mushroom, he gets zombified and then, you know, is able to fall through platforms and stuff like that. If you've never played the series, they're definitely worth it. The first one is closer to Mario, but everything after that it has its own unique style and it rewards exploration this game because coins actually matter ah oh, no gotta go back There's nothing. Unless I already got it. The room is somewhere here. I just I don't remember how I got into it in the first place. Okay, so all that's here was just the coin. So this is a coin room. And then this is where, if you fail the boss, you reappear. It looks cool. Oh, it's it's a lot of fun. You should definitely try it. If you're into platformers, this, this is a good one. It still ages pretty well, I think. Ah, here we go. Okay, got it. <laughs> Gotta get to bed, stay awake to watch Clive play Melatonin. How did that go? I've heard you're a bit of an expert in the game, Clive. But... Damn it! <laughs> ah! Ah, it's okay, I know, how, I know how to get there, I know how to get there, I know how to get there. It's... Go down the stairs. Into the door, and into the store. You can hold your own. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, if you need to get to sleep, it's all good, dude. I understand. Appreciate the raid, though. The child is screaming that I can't get this the first try. I think nine-year-old me would have definitely gotten that first try. Okay. Damn it. Ooh. 
Gotcha. I just have to. No! Ugh. I think I just have to be patient. I can't go for it every time. This is the one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh. When you guys are ready so quick. best if I try to get him on the left because the table is like a liability. Hey! There we go. Either one or seven. I need a I need a top row piece, or it's a four. Okay. Well, that answers that. Right. So I mean, I need to remember how this works, but it has alternate stages. So I think this was like the alternate path this way. I don't remember how this works, but I know that there are alternate stages. I know that much. Oh, yes. There's the treasure. Oh, of course. <laughs> Wait, no way, this was just a dream the whole time. Maybe this is how it works, is like... You wake up, it's a dream. But then it's happening for real, and that's how you do the alternate paths. Okay, this is not the true ending. As we've only discovered half of the treasure map and... ...half of the treasures in the world. So there's alternate stages. Which... I need to think. I think I got the alternate stage in World 2, so I need to go through World 1 again, not get the secret exit, fight the boss. And then in World 2 I have to get the secret exit. And World 3. I think that's what I need to do. And then the final world has to be the original path. If I'm remembering correctly, based on what I've done. But I mean, how old is this game like? If you look at it... When did this come out? This came out in... 1998. On the Game Boy. So like... It has cutscenes. It was probably one of the first Mario game- Mario style games that didn't have death. Like you just kept playing it. And it had alternate paths. 
I mean, kind of crazy for a handheld game at the time. I think that's why I enjoyed it so much, it's just... It felt like it had a lot. But yeah, I'll, 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 I'll 100% this, at the very least. Just need to see like how the ultimate path thing works. Yeah, by the looks of it, it's uh so certain stages have special exits, which I found two of them naturally. Okay, so I just have to do like the standard versions of two of them. Unfortunately, we gotta sit through this. There's no skip option. have to hard reset the cartridge. Stage clear. Yeah, so perfect 50%. 50%. Okay. <laughs> 50%? Yeah. It's the best you can do in one run. Yeah, there you go. I'm not gonna remember that. This is kind of crazy. So stage one. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's gonna show up multiple times. Uh, maybe I should clip this. I'm gonna clip this. I'm gonna clip this. So then I have reference to what I did. Okay, let me save this as map. I mean, it's, it's nice that it shows you this. Alright, I've clipped it. Wait, does it... It doesn't let me... Okay, I think I have to hard reset. Hold on, chat. Uh, I need to take it out of the dock one sec, because this doesn't have, like, a physical button. You can probably hear it, right? <laughs> Okay, uh, quit. You know what, let me just... I'm gonna save state, just in case. Okay. 
Let's see what happens. Okay. We're back. Start from the beginning of the stage. Oh! It has a stage select. Alright, that's awesome. Alright, then this, this makes this process easier. Um... Wait, so it's in this stage? What? How's that possible? Okay. Hold on. What did I just do? Oh. I, I guess I found it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I remember this. If you let him sleep in, I think that's how you get the other path. <laughs> so they throw him out of his castle. Do they take over the castle? Ah. Oh. Invade Warrior Castle. Okay. Oh, I love this game. I don't think I ever found everything. That's the other thing. I may have come close, but there were some things that I just couldn't figure out. Oh, this is new. My... What is wrong with me? Am I just dizzy? What is wrong? What is wrong with Wario? <laughs> It's not drunk, I think he's just... I don't know. Like, maybe he isn't en enjoying the fumes. <laughs> Jumping is so awkward. Okay, I got this. Oh, yes! Oh, but like... There's no benefit in me getting up here, is there? I think it's just... This is just purely to be annoying and nothing else.
think for this I have to, at the very least, break the first brick. There it is. again. for just a few more coins. I think I know what I have to do with these things. I need to take one of them with me. To do the minion throw thing later. Oh no. Well, that was a mistake. Don't you dare. I question how some of this stuff is considered treasure. Like pills? Really? Oh yes, pills! Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I'm not going to destroy this thing, because maybe... Ah! I was going to say there's a purpose for it. <laughs> but its purpose very well might be just to annoy me. Okay, there we go. Nope. Ah! 
Okay, I've got to go all the way to the bottom. There's one more up there, so if I do have to throw something. Path seems harder than the other version of stage two. Sub game contents will change slightly. Each panel costs fifty coins. What? Press B to answer. It's, I was worried there. Why is it giving me a tutorial now? Or does it assume... This is weird. Why... Why was it doing it now? Oh, I see. No, it's different. I have to pick when I want it to stop. Ooh. Okay, that's why it's giving a tutorial. It's harder now. I mean, that's cool, it's mixing it up. I don't remember that. I feel like I should go back. What's in here? Okay, so that, uh, I assume, opened the gate. Okay, now we can go check up here. Ah, oh, haha, okay. forgot about these fake walls. They kind of stopped being used in later stages. Okay. 
Okay, I need a... Dude. <laughs> just... There we go. I'm surprised there's nothing else. I think now more than ever I'm gonna need coins. Oh, come on. It's, I think I still got the coins anyway. I don't think there's anything else. I think I got them all. Yep. Knockback. Ooh, Out of here. Okay. I need to bring this thing down with me. Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I can just. Damn it. This is gonna be very specific. Yes! This one's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I don't think I need to get that this one here. Like this one's optional. Oh, don't you do this to me. Ah <laughs> No. Damn you, Warrior. Has to be so bulky. Okay, now I need to. Hold off here. Yeah. 
bulky? Well, yeah, that's my choice of words. I mean, if you want, I can say thick. Oh, yes! Wario's very thick. He weighs... Damn it, how much does he weigh again? Hold on. I need to consult my official Wario lore. He weighs 140 kilos. And has size 8 feet. There we go. So, 140 kilo thick. That, that is official. Canonically has a bladder that can fit five liters of pee. That is my random useless fact. Does it say how old he is? No. It just lists how st how strong he can grip. I'll I'll read I'll read all of them. Okay. This is official lore from Warrior World. The manual. the page. Okay. It's in the middle somewhere. There it is. Hey, are you laughing? Quit staring. I'm shy, but hey, it's not like I'm naked. You can only see my insides. What do you think? Pretty manly, huh? What? I'm making you sick? Eh. I bet your insides aren't exactly gorgeous either. Okay, this is what I have. My sight, 2040. Because I've studied hard, my eyes have gone bad. My sight used to be perfect. It stinks having eyes this bad when your head is otherwise so perfect. Grip, over 80 PSI. Crushing an apple in these hands is not a problem. These hands aren't just for gripping things either. They're absolutely incredible for nose picking. Oh, yes! Weight, 140 kilos. Who was the idiot who wrote 140 kilos up there? It's just my clothes, I, I like to layer. Underneath all this is a slim, trim looker. Then I have... Abs. Ten rolls. This stomach is split into squares by the network of muscles that run through it, eh? Who said it's split into squares of pure fat? Come on. I have a size 8 feet. Oh my, how lovely my feet smell. Just the other day, I pulled off these shoes and knocked a couple of roaches with my wonderful foot odor. Oh yes! My brain, with relatively few wrinkles. Some folks would have you believe that truly smart people have wrinkles in their brains. That's a huge lie. Why, you ask? Because the more you use your brain, the more deplete, the more you deplete its capacity, which makes it shrivel and wrinkle. My brain's as good as new, not a wrinkle to be found, so my brain power and motor skills rule. Remember what I just taught you. Teeth has no cavities. I have no idea what having cavities are like. Why? Because I eat bacteria that causes cavities. Ha 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 ha. With these arms, I can do over a hundred push-ups. Nobody has stronger arms than me. My muscles are made out of garlic. Why? Because I said so. Quit asking stupid questions. Oh, ha, 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 ha. yes. My stomach holds a hundred liters. I've heard people call a stomach a black hole. Well, fine. Not to toot my own horn, but I've never thrown up once. I mean, it's a way to toss something back right out after you eat it. Yeah. And lastly, my bladder holds five liters. When I veg out in front of the TV, I don't like having to get up all the time to go to the bathroom. That's why my bladder rules. You know you're jealous. <laughs> oh, yes! Alright, there we go. Hope you enjoyed. That's uh, official warrior lore on his body. And it kind of shows a cross section of his body as well. I mean, I'm no Charles Martinet when it comes to Wario, but I, I do my best. All those years of playing Mario Party with friends and just doing the stupid Wario voice. I, I I wanted to squeeze in like my my thing that I usually say when I play as Wario in Mario Party, but I couldn't find a spot where it would seem natural. 
Be on what to say. What's that? Oh yes, it's time to fuck. Ah. <laughs> uh. Anyway. I don't think I found the bonus stage yet, so I need to keep looking. What is what is this? Oh, I see. I have to. Yep. I have to become a pancake. <laughs> I love the googly eyes. That's why manuals were so cool. It's just. They would often contain these pages of just random stuff they've made up for the game. Should be the mini game. Yeah, there we go. Okay. See, and I did that for free. That wasn't even using the channel redeem either. <laughs> I guess that brings confidence that I can maybe like maintain the warrior voice for at least a minute. You love that this game goes against the norms of most things, like most games you'd never want to get crushed. That's what makes this game great, is like, not only does it reward exploration, but like... With the exception of a couple of things, Warrior doesn't exactly get upgrades. Like, he just has a bunch of random injuries happen to him that just coincidentally let him progress through the obstacle. I think that's what's the best thing about this series, is just... Once they nailed that aspect down, that's what makes this game so great and its other successes. I mean, as a kid, I found this great. Ah, oh, that was the one. Wait, but do I need, even need to be crushed for that one? I don't even know. I wish they, that Nintendo will make another one of these games. It's, it's been a decade, at least. I can't remember when Shake It came out, but... The last time we had one of these games was on the Wii, so... We are well overdue. I mean, Pizza Tower was fun, but... I think that one... It's super enjoyable. I love- I love Pizza Tower, it was great. But it's not this. Not quite, anyway, and that's fine. Like, Pizza Tower's kind of almost like a mix of Metroid, Sonic, and Wario. Which... It's great. But it's not like this, it's just... Having Wario just get into, like, some crazy crazy situations. And of course, even in his own games, he loses. Like, the ending is always, he gets the treasure and then something happens and it gets taken away. It's always the same plot thread. Wait, where's the, ah, there's the exit, okay. But I mean, yeah, the last Warrior game, um, they 
did hand-drawn animations for it, and it was great. Like, it looked good. It's just unfortunately because it was on the Wii. Uh, of course, it had to have motion controls, and it really didn't have to. I'm hoping with the success of Pizza Tower that makes Nintendo reconsider. Oh, yeah, we have a series that we should probably do something with. Man, that is a tricky spot to squeeze into. block there. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Ugh. My inner child is screaming because I know I would have been able to do that as a kid. First try. Yeah! There it is. Got it. Yes! Okay. Oh right, it's different now. It's a three. This is harder, because I don't get to control how many pieces get revealed, it's just I have to make it stop. So I can't take a minute to think about it. At least this is nice. Okay, de defeat the giant spearman. I wonder if I can find the manual to this online. Maybe it, the manual to this also had some weird, weird lore about Wario. that I remember being strange was just Yoshi having a, uh, a full name, so like, has a middle name and a last name. And I don't think they've ever referenced that ever again, but it's, it's there. Come on! These are things that anyone should go to the emergency room for, but Wario, nah, he just shakes it off. Come on! And I need... I need the body to jump off. There we go. Do you have to be so girthy? He just hits his head on ceilings way too easily. How do I get the rest of that? Is the 
another weak wall or something. Aha! What? Oh, I see, I see. Rewards exploration. Don't see Mario games doing that that often. <laughs> it's okay. I know they do. I, I played Super Mario World and Super Mario Land and all those other games. And I love them. Just being facetious. Oh, no, no, we can't do that yet. I need to find the secret room. Oh, come on! One of these is the minigame. Probably... I just want to find it. It doesn't matter if I don't find the rest. What the? What is this room? What is this room? Is this glitched or is this intentional? Okay. Hey, Gami, what's up? You missed- you missed it. I'm just sharing some of Wario's lore. That I found in the Wario World, uh, manual. Yeah, that was- I don't know. I had this happen with Wario Land 1. I think the cartridge, the battery on it was basically dead, so there were some sprite glitches. Maybe it wasn't the battery, maybe it was just the cartridge was dirty, I don't know. What? Unless there's like a hidden... Can I just get up here naturally? I can't, so how do I... Okay, thinking hat. <laughs> How do I get to here? I need to get to this middle shelf. But also bring this with me somehow. What if I purposely... No, it doesn't get you enough height. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you would think I'd be able to reach, but it doesn't let me reach. Alright, I'm stumped. It's okay, it's not important. What was that? Nothing. I'm surprised I, I managed to find the ending right away. Like, first try. Somehow I just went straight to the end, and I bet you I won't be able to find it easily again. Whoops. Oh! <laughs> Come on. 
come on. I can, I can do this, I can do this. So wait, it kind of just clicked. Did, did Wario say his arms were made out of garlic? I think I said something like that. Wario is a bit pudgy. Yeah, he weighs 140 kilos. A size 8 feet. No, I'm not kidding. Like, what did it say? Hang on. Uh, it was this one? I think? Yep. Okay. Let me get it out again. Yeah, nobody has stronger arms than me. My muscles are made out of garlic. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a quote right there. I read the entire thing in the warrior voice, like, maybe ten minutes ago. Uh, I don't think I could do it again. So if you're curious, you can go back and look at it. <laughs> now comes the fun part, do I remember which way I went? Okay, this is correct. Yes! Oh, damn it, I couldn't get it. No match for that 140 kilo booty. Oh, we got a Yoshi egg. I mean, okay, I'm sure it's not that his... His ass is like 140 kilos. Because there would be some weight distribution, like maybe 20. Still, that's, that's quite a big dumpy. that middle one. Got it. <laughs> Alright, two more stages. Ah, that was almost, uh, yep. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, if nothing else, I'm good at stopping the dash when I have to. What's up then? I just love that the premise of this path is that Wario sleeps in. That's... <laughs> that's this arc here, is he slept in and his castle was taken over. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no. Okay, it's fine. Uh, let me just check this isn't... Okay. I'll go through it later. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just respawned that. Okay, got him. Got him again. Oh. Oh, this is this is kind of mean. Cuz the platforms don't respawn. Oh, yes, they do. Why didn't they respawn before? All right, whatever. You're back. Hey, welcome back. As much as I love playing as Wario in, like, party games, I can't play as him in Mario Kart, and that kind of makes me sad, but I'm just not good at the heavy races. I don't know anyone that really uses them. I always found them to be just cumbersome and annoying. Like, I, I get that there's benefits to being, like, a heavy racer, but I just never got the hang of it. Mario Kart's another one of those games that I would love to play. But I feel like it's at this point that, uh... The people that play it are probably, like, way too good at it. <laughs> I would get my ass kicked. I mean, there's always the, uh... The element of chaos in Mario Kart, but... I don't know if that's enough. That is definitely... It's a title that I think would make me salty, like, Crash Team Racing? Oh, man. That used to make me so angry as a kid. No! to do anything, hopefully. <laughs> Let's just leave that. Oh, no. There was a whole upper area up there. Stop it! How does that even work? Like, they freeze you, but then they send you flying. Oh, there's no way I can reach that. Ah, I see what's about to happen. Never. What is this? Okay, good. We're already at the end. You read this on Google. Garlic has in fact been shown to raise testosterone levels, a key hormone in muscle growth and strength. Maybe War is onto something. Yeah, I don't know. The lore would be, like, that deep that it would take that into consideration. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I think it was this one. Oh. I wasn't sure. 
Eh, hey, what are all those gym bros doing, eh? Taking that powder. What they really need to do is eat garlic. Mince it up, put it on eggs. And then just inject it directly into their veins. Oh, yes! They need to eat it every day. You need at least 200 grams of garlic in your eggs. And then you just eat them all. <laughs> what am I doing? It's a three. I will say though, garlic is legit. Not on its own, but like, in food. There's this is, uh, like, barbecue place. I th I'm pretty sure it's Chinese. But they do these very simple, just, barbecued garlic wings and they are, they are great. And I mean garlic bread, come on. I mean meat with garlic butter as well, there's... It's quite versatile. But this is just a maze. A nice big garlic omelette. <laughs> You make it sound like you're making the omelette just out of garlic. Just mushing garlic into a paste and then reconstituting into omelette form. How am I supposed- do I need to crouch? I think I need a crouch jump. Like that. going to teach you how to make a garlic omelette. What you're going to need, you're going to need 20 cloves of garlic, right? You take 10 of those cloves, you crush them into a paste, then you put it in, and you fry it into a disc. Then you take the remaining 10 cloves, you cut them into quarters, you put them on top as garnish, right? Then you get some mushrooms, you get some sun-dried tomato, and then you just eat the whole thing. Mm, yes. Oh, you need... I need something to throw here. I think this will respawn it, though. Right? Mamma Mia, delicious. I don't think Wa I don't think Wario is canonically Italian though. I remember reading that he's not somewhere. I don't remember what game said it, but I don't think Wario is actually Italian. Oh what? Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, I almost saved it. Like, okay, whilst Wario is being all dizzy. I'm gonna confirm this. It's up, it's up for debate.
It's up for debate. But apparently, like, some wikis are saying he's from the Kitten Isles, whatever that is. But then some people associate him as German because of the original actor. I mean, I can see Wario being German. If I knew some German, I'd say it in the Wario voice, but I don't. I mean, I can say it in Spanish if, if you want. Oh, yes, quiero pan con ajo. That, that means I want garlic bread in Spanish. <laughs> How do I fix this? This is not easy to pull off. Unless I can reset the room somehow, this is probably the last chance I get at getting this. Oh! I got it. <laughs> ah! That throw. Come on. Skill. What the? <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> what was that? Did I just become tiny? Hang on, I, I need to see that again. It was very temporary because I got hit. Oh, yes! I'm tiny warrior, but it's not a smuggle. I can't do a small warrior. I just make it sound like... Yeah. You know, Lord of the Rings. Classic. I can't do it. I, I would need helium to do it. So what's the benefit of being small? Oh no, there's definitely something here. Let's just go back in. The music is adorable as well. Ah, ha ha. Oh my god, those nasty hobbitses. Taking my precious, oh no. I've been streaming for so many years and it never occurred to me to play a warrior game. I've been doing this voice since I was a teenager and it didn't occur to me once, hey, you should probably play a warrior game on stream at some point. Because not only do, I, do you have fun with that, but you can just, I guess, make it funny. I guess it only took, like, a game naturally releasing on the Switch for it to happen. Oh, what is this tower? Ah. Warrior, please. <laughs> you know what the definition of insanity is? Trying the same thing and expecting a different result. The only reason I'm playing this is because I played Pizza Tower and I, I was feeling nostalgic. And I haven't played this since I was a kid. But I do have Warrior World, which is going to be way more fun. Like, I think that... If I'm not mistaken... 
That one has the most voice acting for a warrior game, with the exception of WarioWare Gold. So that one should be fun to play. I never played it. It was on the GameCube, so... I'll get to it at some point this year. Or if it's like popular demand, I might get, get to it sooner rather than later. Let me have a look at this again. No, it's in the middle. Okay. coins. How do I make this thing move? Oh, this is... This is kind of cursed. Ah! That's what I was trying to avoid. That's what I was trying to avoid. I think, I, I think I've screwed myself here. Because I think I destroyed blocks that I shouldn't have destroyed. So uh, now this is infinitely harder. Oh! Okay. Die, oh, you dick! <laughs> I'm going to lose more coins than I'm going to gain from doing this. There we go. What do you mean? What do you mean? What What do you mean that didn't break the wall? Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh, yes! Wario loves convolution! <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> we did it. Ah, that was not worth it in the slightest. <laughs> Just making sure there's no doorway or something there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not touching this just yet. I get the feeling that's just gonna make matters worse if I go down there. Okay, that's the boss door. One of these has to be the... That's... this has to be like the boss exit, I assume. If you fail the boss. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> it's going. It's going about as well as I thought it would. Alright, I'm gonna go to that previous room now.
what? Ah, that's why. kind of worried that I may have missed this somewhere. It doesn't look like it's going to be here, so I'm going to go further back. Into this wretched room. Wait, this is just back here. Oh, damn it. So where could I have missed it? Oh, whoops. Right. That's still a thing. I could try and just open it up properly. <sighs> I'm not even sure what, what that's even doing to him. Like, what is that supposed to be? Is he getting high off the fumes? Like, what is that? They're not throwing alcohol at me, unless this is like one of these things where they, they've censored it for children or something. He blows puffs of smoke when he's in this form. Like, look look at this. Like, what what is this supposed to be depicting? I think he's just dizzy from smoke inhalation. That would be my guess. Oh yeah. Maybe he's too hot? Eh, what do you mean, too hot? I'm gorgeous! Nothing wrong with that. See this right here? That's 140 kilos of garlic muscle oil, yes! Ugh. <laughs> uh. But we're up here at least. I guess it doesn't matter too much. 140 kilos of garlic muscle. Yeah, the, canonically, that's what it is. He says his muscles are made out of garlic. He weighs 140 kilos, has size 8 feet, has perfect teeth, no cavities, 2040 vision, and, uh, has a bladder that can fit five liters of pee. Oh yes! Five liters of pee. I can't find this room. Oh, there. Okay, it's there. I see it. That's- that's it, there. Warrior's quite the specimen that indeed he is.
Oh, I just saw that. Okay, this is all I wanted. Is that a statue of him? He also puts an argument that, uh... Smooth brains are better than wrinkly ones. It's somewhere along the lines of like, wrinkly brains are tired and have been overused, whereas in a smooth brain is like, wrinkle free. You know? Pristine condition. Oh, whoa. If it grabs you, that's bad news. Makes sense to a smooth brain. I mean, I didn't say it made sense. Just explain the way of thinking. Ah! <laughs> the stage. Ugh. I see. When it raises for power, that's when you strike. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Jeez. That has to be the last hit, surely. We got it, we got it. Yes! Oh, 
Get out of here! Oh, no, it's not done! That was a fake out. <laughs> Oh no, I see, I see what I have to do. I have to grab it, I think, and yeet it. Oh, that... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that just looks like... I don't know what it looked like, but when Wario got stung by a, a bee... I need that middle part revealed. Okay. Could've gone... Zero or eight. Okay. I think that's this path complete. <laughs> yes! The Supreme Letter. I, lo I love this. Just goes back to sleep. <laughs> That's it. Eh, yeah, fuck this. I'm going back to sleep. What a story. Okay. I'll do another path next stream. We've been playing this for like a couple of hours. Three hours almost, wow. Uh, I want to get to Stardew, so... I'm not done with this. We'll, we'll do another stream of this uh, tomorrow at some point. I have yet to figure out what time, because I got a family thing to go to, so I'm not sure what time I'll be back. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, just, I love this game so much. It's cool to be able to play this again, especially in this format. So, I'll 100% it, for sure. I'm not wrapping up the stream, but I'm, like, kind of wrapping up the VOD, I guess, if you're watching this later on YouTube. I guess thanks for clicking and sticking around. Hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you want to see me do more retro content or games like this, you know, leave a comment, do the whole like thing if you want. Uh, it helps with the algorithm, but also lets me know that you're interested in this kind of stuff. All right, housekeeping out of the way. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm kind of playing this from a fresh perspective, because the last time I played this I was a kid, and so I don't really remember a lot of this. I have these vague memories of certain parts. So, it's kind of blind, but not really. It's, it's as blind as it can get. But, yeah, I mean, I, I never appreciated how cool this was for a Game Boy game to have this much in it. The branching endings and just how much detail it has. For something that wasn't really as powerful as, uh, as an NES. I can't skip this, so <laughs> we just have to watch. 
Ah. But I mean, I think there's three pubs remaining, maybe two. I can't remember if there was something as a true ending. I think you just get to experience every ending. So, we'll see. So we've done the ending where we have to rescue the uh, pirate lady. And we've done one where we slept in and then kicked them out of our castle. So I, I don't know what the other t two or three are. second now. <laughs> Where's the, uh, the thank you for playing? Oh, look, you can see. Okay, the warrior canonically snores loudly, I guess. Loud enough that you could hear it through a, a castle wall. No, thank you. Okay. So now we should be like at 66. 60, okay. So just under two thirds of the way. Yeah. All right, so there's the uh the paths. So there's three other paths I can do. It looks like the next one starts from chapter 2, which yeah. In the first chapter I did a branching path. I guess that makes sense. Um this just stays here. I have to reset the cartridge. <laughs> so, alright. This is where, uh, yeah, the video is gonna end. But I'll continue streaming on Twitch if you're watching here. Just to be clear. So when I say thanks for watching, I'm talking to YouTube. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See you next time.